Hi, I'm here today with Jack Shea, who is a speaker and lecturer and has developed a number of very useful uh, real estate tools that I use. One of them is the Checkbook Control Trust. And I wanted to sit down, Jack, and talk to you a little bit about the Checkbook Control Trust and why it's superior to the Checkbook Control LLC, which is what a lot of people are using. Uh, let's talk a little bit about why they should be using a Checkbook Control Trust. Well, the LLC is uh, popular. It's, it's all over the internet. Uh, we started the trust, uh, putting it together in 03. So it's been around a long time. Thousands of people coast to coast are using it. I think it's got several main advantages and some minor, but it's basically uh, off the public record. LLCs are on the public record. Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of who formed it and there's uh, it's a creature of the state wherever you uh, create it. The LLC in various states have, in almost all states, has an annual fee. The California's $800, Florida is $160, there's an annual fee. Then there's annual reports to do and yearly. Then there's a registered agent with the LLC so they can be served. And uh, it's, uh, none of those are true with the trust. It's private, there's no uh, record of it, it's perfectly legal, uh, it's usable in all 50 states. It's a hybrid trust, Charles, that a lot of people deal with notes. I deal with notes and real estate and personal property, meaning mobile homes, possibly uh, vehicles. And the, the checkbook trust is a hybrid, can hold both real estate and personal property. So people, even with uh, note buyers, they may have a note that defaults and they get a piece of real estate. So some people have some kind of personal property trust. So the, I think the hybrid trust is required to be able to hold all kinds of investment property. So that uh, is, and plus uh, it's very inexpensive. Trusts cost thousands, thousands I see, various prices. Uh, the trust is a few hundred dollars and it can be set up for less than a thousand, all done for you. And there's no more fees after that. I have several friends and clients that have converted, switched out of an LLC into a trust for the privacy and the cost. So if I want to manage my own money in my IRA, I can use a checkbook trust. It's less expensive to set up and to maintain how, what do I do then to access my money? How do I set it up so that I can actually make deals? Well, uh, there's a major difference there, which uh, turns out to be a benefit. In the LLC, the taxpayer signs his own checks. The taxpayer is the beneficiary, the, he's, the, he's in charge. He wears all the hats. And, and in the trust, you need an independent, unrelated person to sign your checks kind of keeps you there. Uh, people, uh, I know some custodians that won't handle a checkbook LLC any longer. The people tend to get in trouble. They forget who's who, they wear all the hats. There's a recent uh, Ellis decision versus the commissioner where the fellow was paying himself a salary from his IRA and he got all confused. He was all the people. And the IRS uh, looked at, they, disallowed all his transactions, uh, took all the money, a fair amount of money, and got fined in addition. Uh, that's m much more difficult to happen when you have a independent uh, trustee to get a check, to, to buy a note, buy a, buy a real estate. So it's got a lot of be benefits. It's easy, it's flexible to operate. And how do you choose a trustee? And how do you set up the account uh, so that you have access to the yeah. funds. Well, this trust agreement well, is which we send to people. 
is filled out by the taxpayer and sent to their custodian for approval. And, and uh, uh, Advanta, Entrust, Quest, Cama, whoever, there's dozens of trustees, custodians, they approve it, they're the grantor, and your trustee, it's between the custodian and the trustee. You're buried in there as the director. Nothing happens unless you cause it to happen. So you decide to buy a note, you ask your trustee for a check for 20,000, 50,000, or 2,000, and he or she signs the check and you send it. So uh, you don't touch the money, and the proceeds, the beneficiary is your IRA account. So it's, it's a very clean, uh, legally and technically, and it's easy to operate. My trustee is close by, my Merle's uh, trustee is a different person, and it's easy for us to get uh, a check signed. And let, let's talk about some ways that you, you can then invest that money. Now you have the opportunity to have checks written more quickly and easily than if you were to get them from the custodian. So uh, what are some... Yeah. Yeah, we'll have a, you don't have to call, uh, suffer the cost or delay of going to the custodian to get a check. Mm -hmm. If you are out on a Saturday afternoon in somebody's kitchen and you make a deal, you can close it right there. The other person says, well, I'll get back to you. I have to go to the custodian and get a check and I'll be back by Wednesday or Thursday. The deal m might be gone. So you can make deals on Tuesday nights or Saturday afternoons right with your checkbook. And the, the facility and the speed, the other uh, big benefit is all the rents and note payments go in your corner bank. They don't go to the custodian. And you can get it back in the street. My, we have that money, the velocity of your money is accelerated and your earnings are accelerated. No delay, I haven't ever had a dollar at my custodian. They're right in the corner bank and several of my friends and Air Force buddies have their money there I use their money and I, I wrap it uh, I use some friends money that I pay 8% these guys are happy they want to play golf I uh, loan it at 12% and I may I loan a hundred thousand and I might put a thousand of my money so I loan a hundred at 12% I collect 12,000 I pay David 8,000 so I get 4,000 for a $1,000 investment. Wrap around, I could put $100 and get $4,000. Wrap around mortgages, notes, and uh, uh, the local lender, the payday lender, there's car title loans. I buy realtors commissions, I buy tax returns. There's short turnaround, ooh, ooh, fairly high yield. People are happy, they need a, a short term loan. Uh, to bridge over a gap. Some guys I know, they're like, their town's money guy. People come for money. And uh, so there's all kinds of opportunities with receivables from tradesmen, car notes, mobile home notes. Uh, just, just in, in the course, in the book that I have like more than a dozen ways to turbocharge your IRA and I know people making 50 to 150% on their money. If you're in the real estate business and you pass up options, Charles, then you're a master at options. That's the highest leverage, quickest way to get a large return for a small amount of money, safely, and you know, you've done that. Well, that's one of the reasons I wanted to talk to you. It's been so valuable to my investing and helped me so much, and I think uh, every investor should know about it, use it, put it to work if you wanna leverage your IRA or ha you have a large IRA and want to build it, I think there, I haven't found a better way to do it. So thanks for sitting down with me. And, and thank you and to your success.